what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. So, um, I've this has been a topic of discussion recently with me, a few times I've been interviewed and whatnot. Um, my attitude. So I noticeably have a upbeat attitude in my videos about schizophrenia. Here's why. Um, what are my options? Negative attitude, positive attitude. <clears throat> like those are the two options. Um, and yeah, if you go back at some of my earlier videos, especially my very first one where I really got into um, admitting about schizophrenia, normal living with schizophrenia, it's a much different tone um, because I've been through a lot. Um, it was all very, you know, in the beginning-ish stages, you know, for one, me accepting it and being able to talk about it openly. Uh, that was scary as hell, whereas now I'm like, <sighs> all over the internet about it, which we're all so thankful for, the internet, for allowing me to do so. <laughs> um, but yeah, my attitude has definitely changed over the, the, the years and it is, you know, yeah, I mean, sometimes I get down on myself. If you've been watching my um, Getting Help series, you know, that's, I guess, a more real, raw version of me that I force myself to film updates about me getting help with the depression lately. But when I, if I'm going to make a video like this, I have to be in a good mood. I have to feel and want to make a video. And a lot of times I film it thinking I'm good and then I, I, I just, I can't edit it. I can't take the way I look in them and I, I end up deleting the footage. This is actually like the third time I've made this video. Um, so we'll see if this one makes it. If not, take number four. So yes, I have an overly positive attitude about schizophrenia. Here's why. I know there's plenty of negative stuff out there. There's lots and lots of negative stuff, okay? There's like just plain depressing medical journal articles, <laughs> okay? There, there's plenty of law and orders where people with schizophrenia, um, like me, are the killers, where people with schizophrenia are the rapists. Um, there's plenty of horror movies where we go and chop people up. There, there's plenty of just negative, bad press. There's plenty of people you know, I don't want to say wallowing, but deep stuck in mental disorders and they're upset and they're angry about it. And I don't think any of that is healthy. Do I think there should just be a sunny side? Absolutely not. And that's why I try and deal with a lot of issues. But my way of looking at things now, and again, you've seen my attitude change throughout my videos. No, my way of looking at things now is my schizophrenia is not going anywhere. Okay. There's no, there's no magic cure. Okay. And guys, guys, I've said this before, sticking with it, I don't think there's a cure for schizophrenia. I don't think there's gonna one day be a magical pill, okay? I don't think there's some special yoga pose you can figure out. I don't think you can go deep enough into medication. Um, I don't think there's anything you can do to make schizophrenia go away, okay? Because I don't think it's a sickness. That's why I don't like mental illness. I'm not sick, okay? I do believe it's a disorder. My brain works differently than it should, okay? It's just like, you know, if you're born with only one arm, okay? Most of the world is like made for people with two arms. But if you were only born with one arm, you're gonna have to adjust. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it can get annoying, okay? It's unfair because what the hell, all these shirts and jackets got two arms, okay? But <laughs> that's life, you're gonna have to adjust to live a normal life. And it's totally acceptable for you to go out and, and have like this amazing kick-ass life. It's the same thing with a mental disorder. You're going to have to adjust to the world around you. It wasn't made for someone with a mental disorder and that's okay. All right. Because you still get to go out and have a kick-ass awesome life. You will have to adjust. And I do think there are some good things to schizophrenia. I think, um, I'm so creative because of my schizophrenia. You know, I, I definitely think that I think I'm able to think on different levels a lot of times that I wouldn't be able to without my schizophrenia. Um, so yeah, I do think there's good sides to it, but it's not going anywhere, okay? So me fighting against a wall that's not gonna be moved, <laughs> okay, is is just, i rather build something off that wall, okay? Create something and make something. So yes, that is why my attitude, and I always try um, and have a good attitude with my schizophrenia videos, because i rather embrace it than fight it, okay? By the way, if I'm totally wrong and tomorrow a magic pill comes out, then I'm wrong. And I'm totally fine with being wrong. <laughs> I'm Rachel Starr. That's why my attitude tends to be so positive um, in these videos. And keep in mind that it hasn't always been. And if you watch my Getting Help series, you'll notice that's very much more raw, 
um, intense, I guess, uh, look at me because a lot of times, yeah, I don't want to film and I just do it because just keeping track of how I've been dealing with depression this past year. I'm Rachel Starr. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out the mental health playlist. Tons of other videos I've hit on, um, all different, you know, topics and whatnot dealing with mental health. As always, check out Little Broken Star. That's my book on Amazon, Kindle, um, about schizophrenia and also deals with depression, hallucinations, all kinds of different things. So Little Broken Star, check it out. I'm Rachel Starr. Thank you so much for watching. I am out. Also, the battery is blinking like crazy. Hopefully it recorded this.